Jr. Have you been able to kind of take a breather and, and put this season into words at all, or just kind of your overall feeling on on what happened? Uh, as a collective, as a collective uh, I think growth. Um, for me, that's kind of the uh, you know what's in my mind right now. What I'm thinking. Um, a lot of growth shown over this season, you know, regardless of, you know, the record, the wins and losses. Um, I think as we continue to to gel together, um, you know, things are gonna are gonna turn. Um, but you know, just overall, very grateful for what this season has brought. Um, no matter what. Um, you know, the record shows, you know, I'm grateful to be around, you know, my teammates, you know, my coaches and, you know, the whole organization. Um, and most importantly, I got to give thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for allowing me to um, be able to go out on the floor every night and, you know, show my gifts and, um, you know, to be able to, to glorify him with my gifts and to, con to continue to to live, you know, by his word and, um, and, you know, I'm just very grateful for this opportunity that I had this year. As you sit here today, what, what, what gives you the most optimism that next year will go how you guys hope this year would go? Yeah, obviously, um, you know, going into next season, you know, we just got to continue to to work, um, even this summer, um, continuing to, you know, gel well together, um, work on the things that we did well this year, um, even myself, you know, work on the things that I, I did well, and there, you know, there's some things that obviously need to be improved. Um, um, Coach talked about it, you know, after um, the game last night. You know, he said that he's going to be better and you know all of us you know have to look ourselves in the mirror and see you know where we can be better and um even myself you know I, I know you know this year as as you know as it was it was it was tough but um I know individually everyone can say that you know they they grew in some shape or aspect um and so this this summer you know I'm going to be better um as coach says so Personally, what parts of your game do you feel like through this season? And uh, are there any priority areas that you want to identify going into the season? Um, obviously, continuing to to grow the uh, the mental game. Um, you know, it's more than just being able to go out there, score the ball, and um, you know, be out there on the floor. You know, you got to think the game. Um, obviously continuing to watch film, you know, be sharp um, in that aspect. You know, a lot of, you know, playoff basketball about to be played. So, you know, I'll be able to, to look at that, um, you know, kind of picture myself in those situations um, in the playoffs and um, continuing to, to work on my game, work on my body, um, you know, get stronger you know, take care of things that, you know, were nagging me throughout the season, you know, get my body right, get ready um, to get back to it um, in a couple of months. Um, so, you know, definitely, you know, looking forward to, to getting back. And um, obviously right now, you know, it's time to recover and, um, you know, I get to be with my family and um, my loved ones. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to, to being with them you know, right now I'm resting, resetting. Um, but obviously I'm, I'm just very grateful, you know, for this season um, and and the opportunity that, you know, I, I had year two. Uh, Monty had mentioned a couple of times that he thought you had like a, a nagging injury and you would tell him no. I think I forgot what he said the other day, like an ankle or something. Why was it important for you to play all these games down the stretch? I, I think the other kind of core group guys had missed games for various reasons. Mm -hmm. you, you were you played all those games. Yeah. yeah. Uh I man, I love to play. Um simple as that. Um I was, you know, just talking to, you know, the medical staff. Um, you know, any chance that I can get out there and play, you know, I'm I'm 
I'm grateful to be out there and, you know, to be able to, to use my gifts and, um, you know, because, you know, you never know when it can be over. Um, you know, so when I get out there and, you know, whether I'm sore, you know, I've had, you know, soreness, you know, in, in, in a lot of areas this season, but, you know, any chance that I can get out there and play, um, you know, I'm, I'm just grateful to be out there, so. This time last season, you were sitting in that same spot, and both you and Kay Cunningham have expressed how you were looking forward to playing with each other. We got to actually see that in a large sample size of the season. So what do you assess from how the way you guys work together this season, and what would you like to see going into the next year? Yeah, um, I think you saw earlier um, in the season, preseason, um, you know, just playing off each other. Um, Obviously, we. This was like the first year that we got to play, you know, side by side with each other, and um, you know, obviously there was times where it was, you know, a struggle, um, but there was, really, you know, times where we really thrived together, and and you know, we I thought, you know, this whole year, um, like I said before, is just growth for us, and um, we saw the positives this season, you know, playing, you know. With one another, and um, you know, I think as we continue to to gel together, continue to play more games together, and as a whole, you know, as a team, um, we're going to continue to to make strides in that area. And um, I think for me, just really the focus is, is growth and continuing to grow together, and um, you know, being better, you know, going into year three. This is a follow up for you personally. Um, second year in the league, you've already had two different head coaches. What was the, I can say, was there any kind of challenges going from learning under one different coach and now to another with such a short amount of time in your career? Uh, I, I wouldn't say any uh, challenges. Um, obviously, there's, you know, different system, um, but, you know, I, I you know, didn't really have any, you know, challenges in that aspect, and um, you know, I'm, I'm a guy that, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, ready for the next thing, um, and you know, I'm focused on helping, you know, this team win and this organization, you know, be the best that I can be, and um, continuing to uplift others um, and and use my gifts to the best of my abilities, and um, so I, I'm I'm very grateful for. You know, you know the coaches that I've had and and the coaches I do have in Monty, um, and you know what he's continued to to do all season and is is pour his heart and heart out into us. Um, and you know I'm, I'm very grateful for to be able to um, you know be on his team and and to continue to to grow together as a team. So. In what ways do you believe, you know, you start the season uh, coming off the bench, uh, you ended it as a starter. In what ways do you believe that adversity made you a better basketball player? Yeah, um, it definitely made me better. It just, I, I got to see a different side of it. Um, you know, it kind of it reminds me of my freshman year in college. You know, I came in and, um, you know, was coming off the bench and, you know, just trying to see how, you know that worked out how that played out, and I I experienced that my freshman year in college, and you know going into this year, you know I, I didn't know what was up, and um, you know kind of just trying to to f figure things out. I think everybody was, um, and you know that's that's how it goes when you know a, a new coach and and you're trying to just figure everything out as far as you know everybody else in the, in the organization is so. Um, yeah, I, th I thought, you know, I, I grew in that aspect and, you know, no matter what, um, I'll continue to say it, whether I come off the bench or, you know, the sixth, seventh man, um, you know, I'm going to, you know, be professional and, you know, work my tail off every single day, um, show up early, you know, be attentive to what the coaches are saying and, um, that's my job. My my job isn't predicted off of, you know, you know who's in the the lineup or, 
Um, but my job is to go out there and compete um, every single day and, you know, leave it all out there in the court and, and, and utilize the gifts that God has given me. What did you learn about uh, what it takes to use your speed effectively from year one to year two? That's something that um, coaches, we talked about a lot this year, was it's, it's my speed is, is something that um, is deadly on the court and, and being able to be selective in it, um, you know, not using it all the time, but um, using it when it when it matters um, and and being smart um, being selective about it and um, being able to to read defenses um, in that aspect and you know continuing to to utilize my speed to get you know my teammates involved but also on the defensive end as well because um, I think that's that's something that I'm continuing to improve in is my um, just guarding the ball being able to defend and something that I got, got to continuously improve on. Um, but in my speed is, 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 you know, what I go to. So um, I got to continue to watch film, you know, see in areas where I can improve. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you.